Welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to see how to access internet from network devices inside GNS3 lab. For this demo, I have already added three routers in this topology. Out of these three routers, router two and router three, I have already configured with IP address inside 10.1.1.0/24 subnet mask in G20 G20 interface. For router one, I did not configure anything so far. To access internet from these network devices, we have to add NAT cloud from the end devices side panel. So I drag the NAT cloud from here. It is good to include the NAT cloud from the VM, uh, GNS3 VM. Now I'll connect the uh, NAT cloud to my router one. Now we will configure in router one. Here you can see from the show IP interface brief output, we did not configure any IP address so far. So we will configure the IP address first. First we will configure for interface F0 slash zero. We will assign DHCP IP address here. So you can receive the IP address from NAT cloud. Now to do no shutdown command. We'll wait for some time. We'll receive from NAT cloud. It, didn't, it did not receive, but here we can see the method is DHCP. Now we can see in the console notification, it received IP address, this IP address from the NAT cloud. We will check once again. Here we can see for the fast in fast Ethernet 0 slash 0 IP address is this one. This is a NAT cloud IP address range and it received from DHCP method. Okay, now we will assign the IP address to G20 interface is G20 zero IP address. We have already assigned all the all other routers in dot one dot one network. So we will assign this IP address. No shut command. Now here we can see from the show IP interface brief output, we have seen fast Ethernet 0 slash 0 BVCP method. The IP address is 192.168.128.149 and gigabit 2 slash 0, we have seen IP address statically 10.1.1.1. Now we will check whether we can reach the internet from router R1. So first we'll ping to the Google DNS server 8.8.8.8. It's working. So we'll do one more thing. We'll ping google.com. It's not working. So we'll do IP domain lookup. Now we'll check. Yes, now it is working. So now we are able to reach the internet from router R1. 
now we will check from show ip route forward is router one router one land the default route from the nat plot so it is able to reach the internet next we will configure router 2 and router 3 to access the internet we have to configure default route from router 2 and router 3 first i will configure from router 2 the command is ip route 0 .0 so that was and next now we have to mention the next hop ip address it should point to the router once g20 interface ip address that is 10.1.1.1 Next we, next, we'll configure the IP domain lookup. And IP name server command also we have to configure. We'll give DNS server, public DNS server address. Now we'll check the show IP route output. Here we can see we have the default route. Now we will try ping from here. Ping 8.8.8. .8 That's DNS server. It is not working. So what should we do? We should configure the NAT. Without NAT, these are router 2 and router 3 cannot reach internet so we have to configure NAT in the router one so before configure NAT in router one we will configure router three we'll go to i'll go to router three first we'll configure ip route IP domain lookup. IP name server pointing to Google DNS server. Now we will configure the NAT configurations from router one. I'll go to router one CLI. First, I will configure from interface F0 slash zero. We have zero slash zero. This interface I will configure as NAT outside interface. IP NAT outside. Next I will configure G to zero interface as NAT inside interface. So I'll go to interface G to zero. IP NAT. So IP NAT inside. Next, I'll configure the access list. Access list one. Permit any traffic. So now we will configure NAT globally. Command is IP NAT inside source list access list number one. The interface the interface is outside interface. I'm going to mention outside interface here yeah, zero slash zero. Now we are going to do the path. So that is overload. That command is overload. That's it. Now we have successfully configured NAT from router one. Now we'll check whether we can reach internet from router two and router three. First, I'll go to router two CLI. I'll ping DNS server, public server. Now it is able to reach. Earlier, 
does not able to reach. Now I'll bring google.com also. Yes, it is able to ping google.com. Now I'll try from router three. I'll go to router three CLI. Ping 8.8.8. .8 it's working. Now I'll ping cisco.com. Yes, it is also working. Now we are able to access internet successfully from all the routers inside GNS3. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel.